Do you believe in God? Oh, that's a big question. Okay, no. Howdy, folks. So the University of Nottingham has three excellent channels on YouTube for anyone interested in science or anything science relates to the real world. These are periodic videos. The thermite reaction, which is the reaction of aluminium and um, iron oxide is used to make iron and because aluminium has much stronger bonds to oxygen than iron that the reaction produces an enormous amount of heat and you can use this for welding pieces of metals together. 60 symbols. My favorite astronomical phenomenon is are comets when you can see them in the sky and they just hang there for months and you just watch them. I'm fascinated by that. So it's got to be, I think it's those star-forming pillars that the Hubble Space Telescope took this truly amazing picture of. Which is a little strange, because actually the main thing I research on is galaxies, but actually in terms of beautiful pictures, that really is stunning. And, and Nottingham Science. Yep. Well, quite a spectacular reaction. As the cesium reacted with the water, gave away its electron, off she goes as cesium plus. All three excellent channels. Well, recently on the 60 Symbols channel, they were answering some viewer mail, and the question of do you believe in God came up. Do you believe in God? Oh, that's a big question. Okay, no. Do you believe in God? No. I guess you'd have to put me down in the, in the don't knows column on that one. I'm an agnostic. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't. Do you believe in God? No. Absolutely not. No evidence for it. It's interesting. It's actually a topic that interests me a lot because I met scientists, you know, there are fundamentalist Christian physicists, there are staunch atheist physicists. Uh, I would say probably the staunch atheists are probably in the majority. I mean, I can't prove that there is no God, I can't prove that there is one, but as far as belief goes, I don't believe that there is one. Do you believe in God? Not really. I don't believe in the sort of Judeo-Christian God. But then I also don't believe that the universe was sneezed out of the nose of the great green oracle seizure. I don't believe that it was brought into existence by the flying spaghetti monster. I don't believe that Thor, Zeus, or whatever god you can think of, there are an infinite number of possibilities. And because I'm a scientist, what I'm interested in is, is evidence. There's no contradiction. It's possible to both have a religious belief um, and, and to, to be a scientist. Uh, for my part, I guess maybe I just lack the imagination or the leap of faith you'd need to actually, to actually believe in religion as well, so you have to put me down in the agnostics column. My, I guess, uh, departure from religion came, I think, as early as nine or ten, when I was, uh, we were being taught about uh, a big element of the Catholic faith, which is called transubstantiation. Transubstantiation, for those who don't know, means that during the Eucharist, during the, the, the sort of communion ceremony, the body is the, the bread is actually physically changed, whatever that means in terms of Catholic doctrine, into the into the, the body of Christ. And I got very excited as a nine year old and stuck my hand up excitedly in the class and go, look, look, I got a microscope for Christmas. What we can do, we can do this really great experiment. We can look at the, the, the host beforehand and then we can do the Holy Communion thing and then we can look at it afterwards and compare the two. Wouldn't that be a great experiment? And I got sent out of the class and um, also uh, a note was sent to the parish priest. Um, and to I was told that those type of questions are not the questions you should ask. Just observe the world and make your own, own opinion about it. So religion and I departed a ways very, very long time ago. Anyway, I think religion is wonderful for all the good work it does, but uh, I can't find my way to believe in it, in God. Is that fair? You'll keep your mouth closed. Don't you? Seemed like such an easy answer for almost all of them. No, 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 right away, no.
Do you believe in God? No. The one guy waffles a little bit. There's a reason why these people who study the actual world don't believe in God. It's because there's no evidence for him. So until next time, friends, peace.